What's going on guys? So it's awesome back another with another episode of Angle and A's. Today, I actually wasn't going to be doing any feeling, uh, filming, but I have a pretty good feeling that I'm going to be doing some good at the dam today. I was going to go down and uh, just take some time to get away, get out onto the water again. But I was looking out there and I noticed that the water level seemed to be pretty good. And the, it looks like uh, that there's a good current flowing. The water level's not too high. Uh, the clarity looks decent. So I think we're going to get on some pretty good hybrid bass today and some pretty good white bass. I'm pretty excited. I haven't been here since last year before I left for the military. So um, this is my first trip to the dam for 2020. I'm hoping, on to, get, hoping to get on some pretty good hybrids. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get you some fishing action. Right at the bank. Whew. Tell you what, as soon as I turn my camera off. <laughs> so this is my fourth hybrid. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't be doing that. This is my fourth hybrid of the day. And I've missed every single one of them on camera. So I'm going to keep my camera rolling this time. I absolutely choked that swim bait. I mean... They're starting to run now. Look at that. Beautiful hybrid. I mean, he's a little guy, but I mean, he'll take him. But what they're starting to do is they're starting to run up close to the banks here. I just caught that one literally right over here in this little cove, like little cove area. He tried to swim me underneath those bars over there because this water is so up. I mean, this guy just came out of nowhere and hit it. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna throw him back out there and try and see if we can get another one. Let's get on it. Now, literally, all I did, shoot, I mean, you know, this water, all I did was throw that bad boy right over there in that corner, get him up out of the rocks, let him sink a little bit, and then just slowly retrieve it. That's a good one right there. tell how big he is uh, uh, he is 
just is cruising. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't get wrapped up in that. This rod to the test. This is really scary. This is an ultralight I got here. Whew. Can hardly horse him. He's a big one. Huh? Yeah. Uh huh. There he is. There he is. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, let's see him. Let's see him. Oof. Do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's a big one. Oh yeah. Hey, you think you could come and help me net him? Oh yeah, he's a good one. I'm putting this ultralight to the test, that gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got my stuff in there. Oh my gosh. That's a good fish. Bring him over your way. Oh yeah, that's a tank. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, take him up here and get a look at him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, do you have a scale? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if I have one down there with me, but this has a scale on it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Undergrips have scales on it. Okay. It's pretty accurate, too. Awesome. Well, it's within a couple of ounces, anyway. I, yeah. Like, I'd say it's 24, 25 inches. So that's probably a state, not eight pounds. <sighs> probably a couple of well, six. Six? Yeah. I'll six take it. Six and a half. Six and a half. Yep. That's caught definitely one of my one of my best. Yep. I caught a couple yesterday that size. Did you? Uh huh. Uh, uh I'm just using yeah, about like four or five inch, five inch. Yep, yeah, about five inch. Just a little fluke. Thank you for helping me net him. Look at that boys. Six pounder beast absolute tank <laughs> on that ultralight oh my gosh hold on i'm gonna have to get a, a shot of this take it out big old kentucky 
Kentucky hybrids, boys. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. Caught him on this uh, Fluger, um, let's see, the Fluger combo. Uh, it's a Fenwick Fluger combo and ultralight. And uh, on a um, about a five inch uh, fluke. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Brett. This is one of my biggest I've ever caught. So we'll get me a good thumbnail here. <laughs> Beast. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. All right. I'm gonna get a release on him. Well, oh, buddy, catch you again when you're 15. Whew. Sam Riddle, nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah, Thank I'm. You, sir. I'm Austin. Nice to meet yeah, you, my Austin. buddy Aaron. We come down here and and uh, you care if you're in the video. No, no. Awesome. Yeah, this is Sam. He uh, just recognized me from the videos. So yeah, we've uh, we've been doing it for a couple years and yeah, we've had fun. So but yeah, man, if you want to give it a shot, it's uh. If you, I don't know if you got any with you, but um, five inch fluke on a weighted jig head like that, just tossing along the rocks. And uh, they're just killing it today, man. I was getting ready to leave too, right before I hit that hybrid, so. Always, always cool to meet, meet some of the subscribers. Another. There you go. There's another good one. Uh. Woo! Little guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on, get up here. That's a big old white bass. <laughs> That's a big white bass. That's what that is. That gone. That's probably one of my best white bass I've ever caught. Shoot. That's a white bass, Jim. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I was going to say. There's one. What's another guy? That's, a, that's another white bass. God, dang it! Another, another tank of a white bass. Beautiful, beautiful white bass. And there he goes. All right, guys, what an awesome trip that was today at the dam. Super, super pleased with the outcome. Um, there was a few fish I didn't get on camera. Uh, I caught three before I started actually filming because I was kind of still iffy about whether or not I was going to start catching fish, and I did. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put those pictures of those fish right now. Okay, and then... Uh, I got those other uh, two high, or let's see, I got two more hybrids um, on camera and then two white bass. So it was a really great day. Ended up getting five hybrids of two white bass. Super fun. Um, the water levels for the dam are supposed to go up because we're supposed to get a lot of rain coming in uh, these next few days. 
So probably won't be doing any more filming for a little bit until the water levels uh, calm down and then we get a couple streak days of nice weather. But um, hopefully we can get up back out there soon. Um, it's super fun. I had a blast making this video and getting out. And uh, I think soon me and Aaron are going to hit up some more pay lakes for you guys. I know you guys love watching that um, those, that catfishing action. So uh, catfishing is coming up strong. Uh, we went the other day and caught a couple flatheads. Um, nothing, nothing too big, but... Um, uh, yeah, but the pay lake is, start, is gonna start getting real good, and the and the dam and the river is gonna start getting really really good these next couple of days. Um, so we're really really excited about that. So stay tuned. We got a lot of really great footage that we're gonna be showing you guys over the next few weeks, and um, we'll see you next time on the next episode of Angling Ace.